Just when I think it can't get better, it can go deeper. I become enamored with the holiness and the beauty and the limitlessness of experiences that come with being human. I believe in the sanctity of my heart's desires and the inevitability of them being met when I stay unattached to how their fulfillment will show up. One of my greatest desires, and something that I believe is our birthright as human beings, is to experience true freedom. Freedom of lifestyle, movement, and self-expression. Freedom to follow our passionate nature, what lights us up and brings us joy and happiness for its own sake. This is not an easily sustainable belief, given that the predominating, collectively agreed upon attitudes and mental structures created by humanity don't support this way of being. It takes almost unfathomable faith, self-worth, time, and tenacity to push yourself into a life where you get to live on your own terms. I refuse to perpetuate the predominating patterns where people sacrifice their inner truth and happiness out of a need for social acceptance or security alone. I choose to make decisions from and for my soul. Even when they create a huge blow to my ego. When the overriding cultural beliefs and expectations that exist around me send signals of judgment and shame my way. I choose to believe in my own timeline and not ageist expectations projected onto me by the outside world. I choose to listen to my heart, heed her guidance, and still believe in her dreams and desires even when time and time again they haven't materialized how or when I thought they would or should. I choose to accept myself fully when I enter into my own sadness and grief, my internalized judgments and fears, and the heavy weight I inevitably feel as a part of being a human in a strange time in our evolution. I choose to embrace myself fully when I enter into my knowing of my own greatness, my own color and potential and power, the light that engulfs me and makes me feel weightless and free and honored as a true child of a God who accepts all of me. I get to decide that this is who I am, have always been and will always be. I choose to know that what is revealed to me at the heights of my human experience remains true when I'm walking through the pieces of my soul that feel wrong, lost, or broken. 
ultimately, I believe in true freedom for humanity. And I believe that God knows what that means for each one of us more than we could ever know for ourselves. I believe I get to know a few things through faith. That the physical sustenance will show up. The home, the adventure, the beauty, the support, the music, and the love will all be there. But the how of it all will remain a mystery until it's right in front of my face. To me, that's exciting, that's beautiful, and that's miraculous. I love that about life. There are physical manifestations of spiritual counterparts that I continue to hope for. A piece of land and a home when I need a holy and sacred space of my own. A healthy, devoted partnership that shows up when I'm craving an intimate, loving relationship. The financial and lifestyle freedom that allows for travel when the need to roam and be free overcomes me. But when these things aren't yet here, when unmet expectation makes life feel frustrating and unfulfilling, turn to God and realize that my sacred desire can be separated from its materialized counterpart. I remember that my soul is a universe unto itself, and part of me reflects God's eternal nature. Through faith, I can be guided to the fulfillment of my desire within my own being. All that I need is inside of me. So I allow my body to be my sacred, holy space to dwell within. I take myself into nature to commune more intimately with God. I find love in new places within my own being. allow myself to be guided into vistas of my soul I've never traveled to before. I stay open to the miraculous ways in which desire can be met. Ways that are beyond what my human understanding could ever fathom on its own. I love the idea that the true essence of my desires can always be equally met by its own fulfillment right when it arises, if I only let go of the how of it all. I love the idea that true fulfillment has always resided at the seat of my heart and soul. that the material pleasures of this life are just a fun and beautiful bonus. I love the idea that I have always been and always will be enough. That inherent to my soul is the essence of a savior, willing and ready to break me free of all my own entrapments. An eternal gift giver just itching to bless me with the fulfillment of my heart's yearnings. If only I deem myself worthy.